So VWAP or volume weighted average price is a traditional benchmark used by traders that gives the average price of a stock that traded through the day based on the both volume and the stock price. It is important because it provides traders with insights into both trend and value of a stock. It was calculated by the sum of price multiplied by volume divided by the sum of volume. Now let's look at an example. When I build a screener, I usually choose a volume over 1 million because that shows the stock is liquid, so it's easier for me to get in or get out. And the second one is market cap. I like the large market cap stocks because I think it's stable and compared with the small cap, it has less risk. And then I hit build a screener, arrange it by volume. And I saw here are the stocks with the most trading volume today because I just saw some good news for the stock market. Now I'm gonna look at this for example. On the top left corner, you can choose time of VWAP. Here you can choose show VWAP and because VWAP is a lagging indicators, you'd like to choose below 30 minutes, otherwise the indicator is gonna lagging too much. For Moderna, you can see yesterday after market, there's the good news of the vaccine is gonna be have a phase three testing on more than 30,000 people, so the stock price has jumped a lot after market but then there's a big sell off and that put the stock price has dropped from the $88 to $81. So VWAP appears as a single line on intraday charts like 1 minute, 5 minute or 15 minutes you can choose from and it's similar to how a moving average looks. A lot of retail and professional traders may use VWAP as part of their trading rules for determining the intraday trends. So what does VWAP tell you? Large institutional buyers and mutual funds use VWAP ratio to, to help move into or out of stocks with as small of a market impact as possible. The institutional traders will try to buy below the VWAP or sell above it so that it will not move so far from the average and thus will not affect the market price so much. Individual traders may use VWAP as a trend confirmation tool and build trading rules around it. For example, when the price is above VWAP, they prefer to initiate long position to take advantage of the momentum. And when the price below the VWAP, they may prefer to initiate the short positions. So the difference between VWAP and uh, simple moving average, you can see VWAP is calculating the sum of price multiplied by volume divided by total volume and the simple moving average is calculated by summing up the closing price over a certain period of time and divided by how many periods there are. So volume is not factored in. But there's also some limitations of VWAP. The first is VWAP is a single day indicator and is restarted at the open of each new trading day. Attempting to create an average VWAP over many days could mean that the average become distorted from the true VWAP. And while some institutional may prefer to buy when the price of the stock is below the VWAP and sell it above, VWAP is not only a factor to consider. In strong uptrends, the price may continue to move higher for many days without dropping below the VWAP. The price may continue to move higher for many days without dropping below the VWAP at all or only occasionally. Therefore, waiting for the price to fall below the VWAP may mean a missed opportunities if the price are rising quickly. So that's when fundamental analysis come in so the investor have a better understanding about the trend in the long term. The third limitation is VWAP is based on historical values and does not inherently have prediction qualities or calculations. So if you are interested in day trading, VWAP may be one of the tools for you to understand whether the current price is up or below the average and also give your idea about the current volume. So hope this video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.